Hey, Bama community. This is uh, Dave in Texas here, and I'm responding to uh, Randy Weaver's uh, latest video. Took me a while to kind of get around to it because I actually didn't think I had um, any album titles that kind of fell, even though he had several, six uh, letters here, which is the Q, U, V, X, Y, Z. I really didn't think I had enough albums that I could make a video with those. But once I started looking, I looked kind of a cursory time the first time and I thought, you know, I really I really don't have enough albums for that until I started looking some more and looking some more. And I actually had a few albums left over uh, for this response. And uh, most of these albums fall under the either the U or the V. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have just about enough of a little bit of all of them, except for uh, X. I had really a hard time coming up with any kind of an album that started with the uh, letter X, except for this one. This is Annette Peacock's or Annette Peacock's X Dreams. And uh, even though that starts with the letter X, um, it really isn't rock and roll or rock or whatever. It's more of a uh, progressive jazz album. But uh, yeah, even for that though, it's a pretty interesting album. Uh, it's got Mick Ronson and Chris Spedding on guitar. And, uh, you know, several, uh, Bill Bruford is on drums and, uh, you know, some, uh, pretty good musicians on it. Uh, Steve Cook plays bass, you know, several things like that. But, um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's more like a progressive jazz, I would say. So, um, anyway, these are my, uh, runners up and, uh, the way I kind of started putting these mostly, you know, he's uh, Randall Weaver or Randy Weaver started saying, you know, these are my top 10 favorite albums. And I didn't kind of quite go that way, but I've, I've kind of started going that way of, as of about the last couple of videos. And uh, well, like stuff like this, this is uh, the Who's Quadrophini album. Uh, the reason I say this is a runner up is because. Uh, I don't quite listen to this album much anymore. I mean, I was a big, huge, huge, huge Who fan back in the day, uh, but um, I really just don't listen to the Who much anymore. You know, and this might be one of those things where you over listen to it back in your youth, and uh, you know, you just don't feel like listening to it too much now. And, and uh, of course, this came with a. Uh, well, this is this. This poster here didn't come with it. This is actually out of a Live at Leeds poster. But uh, it came with a booklet, uh, which is this one, you know, uh, which has lyrics and oh, things that kind of relate to, this is kind of like a uh, conceptual album or a uh, rock opera album about a guy that uh, I guess you might say has sort of a schizophrenia or something like that. But uh, anyway, it is a good album. For The Who though, you know, if I listen to something by The Who these days, generally I, I would prefer listening, or I prefer listening to their uh, earlier stuff. And I don't know why that is, but uh, albums like The Who Sell Out, or uh, their uh, big, big beefy, meaty and beefy album or whatever the name of that is, which has a lot of the earlier songs on it. You know, like the early formative years of The Who. I still listen to those. This is another runner up here. This is uh, the band UK and self-titled. Uh, this has the, it's, they're, they're a progressive band, but uh, yeah, this has the, uh, British guitarist uh, Alan Holdsworth on it, uh, which is the reason I like it. And it also has uh, John Wetton on uh, bass, Bill Bruford on drums, and Eddie Jobson on keyboards and violin. Uh, this album is pretty good, although it just kind of gets going 
and then it ends. And I kind of wish it had been maybe a little bit longer or whatever. I wouldn't say it's a letdown, but you know, it doesn't quite engage me as much as it could, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, the uh, Alan Holdsworth passages, I really, you know, enjoy on it. You know, anything that uh, Alan Holdsworth was on, I, I just about like, including this album. This is the uh, Urban Verbs. They were kind of a um, self-titled, kind of a, uh, I guess you could say, alt-rock or a uh, new wave type album. Uh, yeah, kind of along the lines of maybe something like R.E.M. or something like that, I would say, uh, yeah. This is uh, Roger Eno's Voices, uh, more of a uh, synthesizer album. And I believe he's related to uh, Brian Eno, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's his brother. But um, it's very much in the same line as what uh, Brian Eno does. And so, uh, you know, if you like uh, Brian Eno's work, you'd probably like this one as well. Now, these are the uh, ones that I selected that I like. And this is, uh, the first one is uh, Uncle Meat by the Mothers of Invention. Uh, two record set. Um, it took me kind of a while to get into this this one, you know, as far as the, the mother stuff, comes with a little booklet too. And they actually made a uh, movie of this, uh, but uh, was not, uh, it wasn't available on the market. And I know for a long, long time, I wanted to see the movie, whether or not it was good or bad. And, and I, they eventually released it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but um, yeah. This has a really interesting long side on it called King Kong. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of good musicians on here. Of course, a lot of them are the same ones that played with uh, some of the uh, earlier Mothers of Invention album. But uh, yeah, very good uh, Mothers of Invention album. Pink Floyd's Uma Guma. Uh, even though uh, Pink Floyd sort of uh, kind of discredited the, this album. I don't think they liked it very much after, you know, many years. But uh, it was always one of my uh, uh, favorite albums by them. It's got one side that is studio and, and more exploratory. And you've got uh, the other side that's live. That's got, uh, you know, Astronomy Domine and, and our Domain, whichever. Careful with that axis gene and uh, set the controls for the heart of the sun. But um, yeah, I always really enjoyed this album. And as you can see, it's got, uh, you know, their uh, albums. There's Roger Waters and it goes on back until the very, very back last panel here is the uh, if you can see it that far, right back in the back there, you see the first Pink Floyd album. This is a Tangerine Dreams Underwater Sunlight. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like just about any Tangerine Dream album, and this one is, you know, no exception. Um, you still got all the regular guys that are on it. Let's see here. I think you do. Um, although Hasslinger is on here rather than uh, Christopher Frankie, I'm not sure if he's on here or not, but, uh, yeah, uh, another good Tangerine Dream album. If you're into uh, electronic music, synthesizer music, you know, it holds up. Bob Marley and the Wailers Uprising. This might be probably my favorite. Uh, Bob Marley album. It's one of his later ones. But, you know, I like all the songs on here. And in particular, uh, there's a song on here called Pimper's Paradise that I really like. And this song here called Redemption Songs. An acoustic uh, guitar song by uh, 
Bob Marley, just him and acoustic guitar. Uh, a really fine uh, Bob Marley and the Wailers album. This is the uh, Velvet Underground's album, VU. As you can see the title right there. I think you could probably include the first uh, two Velvet Underground albums, that one with Velvet Underground and Nico. It's kind of a self-titled album, and even their second one, which was just called The Velvet Underground. And uh, I picked this one just because it has DU on it, but uh, any three of those would probably, uh, you could pick. Uh, this one is pretty good. Kind of like some earlier stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, pretty good Velvet Underground album. I like that early photo there. Um, this is a uh, native Texan, as far as I know. I think he was born in New Orleans, but, uh, spent most of his time in Texas. Viva Terlingua is the name of it. And it's a live album. Most of it was recorded there in Lückenbach, Texas, which is just a very small town, kind of a <laughs> side of the road type town, you know, where not much is in it, although they probably still maybe have live concerts there. But, um, you know, pro that is probably the bar that they may have recorded this in, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Jerry Jeff Walker is kind of like, uh, um, I guess he fits in that maybe uh, Texas outlaw type singer songwriter folk uh, area, and uh, yeah, back in the back in the day when this they used to have a song on the radio called uh, uh, "Up Against the Wall Redneck." that uh, they used to play all the time. and uh, But I mean, like every song on here to me is like very good. The song Desperados that uh, the Eagles also did is on here, uh, which was written by Guy Clark, another Texas musician. I believe he's Texan. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Backsliders Wine uh, is a song by Michael Murphy, another Texan. Uh, but uh, yeah. I still listen to this album and some of his other albums. Uh, so, uh, Viva Terlingua, uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. Voyage of the Alkalite is uh, the album by Steve Hackett, who is the uh, guitarist for Genesis. Um, not much to see on the back and real light writing on the back of it. But uh, I really love this sort of painted uh, cover on the inside of the album. And, uh, you know, what I would say about this album is if you like Genesis, uh, you know, this is very much still in that mode of Genesis, sort of symphonic progressive rock. Uh, really a uh, wonderful uh, solo album by him. It's his first one. So, uh, yeah, if you do like that type of progressive rock, you know, check it out. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't probably include this. I don't have the album anymore, the vinyl. This is the uh, self-titled Yes album. Um, this is the one with uh, Yours Is No Disgrace. Uh, I've Seen All Good People, which used to be on the radio way back in the day. Came out in 1971, but uh, yeah, Starship Troopers is on here. I mean, it's just a really classic uh, progressive album. Uh, so uh, yeah, the Yes album. This one here is a Fila's Zombie album. This is really more of a uh, jazz, maybe a jazz rock album. Uh, but, uh, yeah, African, uh, kind of jazz rock, uh, pretty good album by Fila. And, uh, yeah, uh, three cuts, uh, one cut on one side and, uh, then two on the other. 
This is with his Africa 70 uh, band. So, uh, yeah, if you're into uh, African music, then, uh, you know, it's a pretty easy album to get into, actually. Zappa Zootalures. So we got two uh, Zap Frank Zappa albums this time. Uh, yeah, really good album. Um, used to be a song on the radio that they would play on here, I believe. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but, uh, yeah, fun album, you know, like a lot of Frank Zappa's albums, there's parody on here, like Disco Boy, uh, a weird song called The Torture Never Stops, Wonderful Wine, Wino, you know, Zootalures, uh, if you're into Frank Zappa or that type music, progressive rock with uh, some parody in it. Uh, yeah, really fun uh, Frank Zappa album. It's got the uh, Terry Bozio's on drums. You got Ruth Underwood on synthesizer. Uh, you know, several of the uh, musicians that have played with him in the past. Uh, fun album. Then to wrap it up, we have Neil Young's album, Zuma. It's Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Uh, for the longest time, this never came out on CD, and I believe they eventually released it, but, uh, yeah, one of Neil Young's, uh, better albums. Um, uh, like I said, it's got Crazy Horse on it, and, uh, I like all the, uh, songs on this thing. Uh, Ride My Llama, I believe, is on here. Uh, maybe not, but Cortez the Killer has the killer, uh, guitar solo on it through my sales i believe parts of uh crosby stills nash and young sing backup vocals on that uh pardon my heart it's a nice ballad uh you know overall this album is still really hangs together well uh don't cry no tears yeah neil young and crazy horse zuma so that's it for the uh you know, the multiple, <laughs> the multiple alphabet uh, that uh, Randy came up with this time. So, uh, yeah, basically this weekend we've been getting some rain, which I've been enjoying. It's lowered the temperatures, and I'm all for that. Um, hope everybody's doing well, and we'll, we'll uh, talk to you later.